was I have two master's degrees with a focus on the New Testament. And I became very curious after 10 years of studying the New Testament, what happens after the close of Revelation? You know, what are early Christians doing once the New Testament period comes to an end? So that was one reason that I pursued it, just intellectual curiosity. And then the other reason is, in my own faith tradition, uh, Baptist, we Baptists are weak in this area. So we're big on the Bible, and then we tend to jump from the Bible to the Protestant Reformation. And of course the Bible is important, the Protestant Reformation is important, but my own tradition, we tend to be weak in patristics. We don't have a lot of folks working in that area. And the advice that I was given was, wherever the scholars are that have interests that overlap with yours, that's where you should apply. If that's West Virginia Tech State University, then that's where you should apply. Well, as it happened to be, the scholars that I wanted to work with were at the University of Edinburgh. So I applied and was accepted, and it was just a great opportunity, not only for me, but for the entire family, to be able to live in a different country. Any American who gets the opportunity to live outside of their own backyard, they should take it, because it just expands your horizon. It is a, a natural form of, of education, and Lou Ann had a great time in Edinburgh. Uh, Maddie Grace had a great time in Edinburgh. She started school in Edinburgh. If I'm remembering correctly, there were 32 different languages represented in Maddie Grace's school. Her best friend in Edinburgh was a Muslim from Pakistan. They lived right next to us. We dined with them. They dined with us. And on a beautiful day, now I've not been to every city in, in, in the world, but on a beautiful day, a pretty day, there's no place I'd rather be than Edinburgh. It's just, it's just marvelous. I mean, you hear these stories of spouses that go off with their spouse for PhD work and the family suffers. We didn't do much suffering because it was just a marvelous place to be and to live. I'm working on the index for the book right now. It's due out, well it'll be out as soon as I can get my index done, but roughly in May. So what I do is I look at how Ignatius of Antioch was a second century Christian martyr. And in the fourth century, Christians had a big debate that we call now the Arian controversy, which comes after a participant in the debate. His name was Arius, a presbyter in Alexandria, Egypt. And it was a debate over how do you understand correctly the relationship of the son to the father? Uh, is the Son eternal as the Father is eternal, or is He not? So in my PhD work, I looked at how different um, folks in this argument, different sides of the debate, used the writings of Ignatius of Antioch to make their case. And in the, co in the context of doing my research, I discovered a man by the name of William Whiston who was Isaac Newton's successor at Cambridge University as the Lucasian professor of mathematics. And this is one of the things I like about Whiston is his naivety. He felt like he could change the church. Since I've been at Chowan, I've published two articles on Whiston. And now I'm working on a book on Whiston called William Whiston and the Apostolic Constitutions Completing the Reformation. So I applied for this fellowship at Cambridge because this is where Cambridge, this is where Whiston worked and studied, right? This is where he, this was his place. So I applied for this fellowship to go to Cambridge, England, to work out of the University of Cambridge, simply to get a better feel for Whiston's Cambridge, you know, where he lived, uh, you know, I walked where he walked, I found churches that he preached in, I mean, not that they're lost, I just went to them churches that he preached in, um, went to use the Cambridge University Library. I used the British Library in London, which they have books that Whiston wrote. So he published a lot of stuff. But they have his books with his own annotated notes in them. So that's what took me to Cambridge. And it was a great time. And I have all kind of pictures. Well, I am grateful. Uh, Chowan is a teaching university. Uh, we're not a research university. So 
my teaching load every semester is four courses. In light of, of who we are, I, I'm just grateful for the support that I've had with my research from the administration. Um, I'm grateful that I was awarded the McDowell Columns Prize. That really meant a lot to me. And, you know, Cho Long doesn't have to recognize research, but, but it does. Um, I'm up for tenure this year and of course my research does count towards tenure so they'll consider it so they're supporting my research there when I when I finished Edinburgh I did not want to be in a publish or perish atmosphere like my friend at the University of Virginia is in because I was afraid I might perish I mean I, I just didn't know mm -hmm. yet when I arrived at Cholon I had a couple of projects that I wanted to pursue and you know my PhD is, is out of the British system and the British system the emphasis is research the emphasis is publication um, so I had that you know in my bones after finishing Edinburgh and then I had a couple of ideas I wanted to pursue and so I used my summers to pursue those ideas those two articles that I published and I had success and this one article, which is in the Journal of Ecclesiastical History, is, is a top-tier journal. It's published by Cambridge University. So if you look on my door, I'm just so proud of this, under the um, author's addresses, you're going to see Oxford University, you're going to see Cambridge University, you're going to see St. Louis University, you're going to see the University of Ghent, and then you're going to see Chowan University. With all of these, you know, internationally known schools and not, I really so I had I didn't know that I'd be successful I didn't know I just had some ideas that I wanted to play with I met Cho Wan if they don't get published no harm done but because I had some initial success that just ignited my fire and I'm curious about these things and so I've worked on uh, enhancing those skills